It's just a little video of the school allotment I look after, Devonshire Academy. It's in Smethwick in Sandwell. These are the willow arches. There's a lot of action going on in here because we've got the willow bark aphid, the largest aphid in the UK apparently. So there's loads of wasps and other predatory insects around here. Uh, okay, so got the seven raised beds, various things in. Salsify is a new one, I haven't grown that before, that's germinated okay. Got the strawberries, all kids love strawberries. Got the elephant garlic, peas over there. Uh, little ornamental beds really. Um, got the broad beans over there. Got more radish in here. Spring onions, red bunch of onion. That is elephant garlic. Oh hello. That is Welsh onion. Uh, got beetroot in here. Some that are so direct, some that grew on at home first. This is last year's chard, which obviously we could still eat, saving for the seed. It's lamb's lettuce, which is all going to seed. Um, and I usually leave the clover because it's a nitrogen fixer and just as a kind of a, a ground cover. And then that black merrick over there. Um, but you have to watch because nature gets cocky, look, and uh, starts growing massive. But you can stay there. Um, I was, this what I was wondering what it was. I mustn't have ever let it flower before. I kept wondering what it was. Oh, now it's flowered. I think it's obviously uh, some kind of speedwell. But it's a bit succulent you see. That's what confused me. So you can see we had torrential rain yesterday. This site's terrible for, um, it's at the bottom of a natural stroke man-made valley. All that wood chip's been washed away, look, up to here. And here, I get the rake out, no? You can see, it's all black, that's all the wood chips been washed away from there. Uh, right, four different types of potatoes we've got in here, early, mids and late. Uh, it's Charlotte, Duke of York, is that that one over there? Um, Kestrel. Okay. Uh, I've got onions in here, white onions, red onions, nothing in there yet. I'm going to put the courgettes in there um, and something else. <laughs> uh, runner beans, they haven't long been in. Again, the kids had grown some up in the school and they've planted those and we put some seed in as well. This bed, I think I'm going to put some, um, I'm going to put the sweet corn in here. But this was brassicas left here, which I've left to go to seed so I can collect the seed. This is white sprouting broccoli, it's gutted. We would have had really good crops of sprouting broccoli, but um, we had that snow and the birds had them all. I think it's the only thing they could find to eat, obviously, so I'm not bitter. Uh, that's a work in progress. That's the little willow fence type thing that is. Um, this bed is a nightmare. It's on a massive slope. It caps off really bad and it's clay predominantly. So I've just been working on um, improving uh, the soil really and the below ground ecosystem. So just been putting all sorts in here really. It's hypericum, just various things that have either popped up or um, that I've brought down. Foxglove, uh, there's all sorts, we've got various 
currants that I put in and the little orchards around this way as well. Um, currants all went, most of them went in last year, but um, so hope it'll be next year really. They uh, didn't put on a massive amount of growth last year, but uh, they should be good next year. I'll put all these pot marigolds in because uh, they'll grow anywhere. Mullin. Uh, some alliums, various bulbs. Uh, Aquiligra, so obviously that will self seed about the place. Uh, so, yeah, we've got a few. Wow, these have done good. These had never been pruned properly, pruned them properly last year gave them a big feed and whatnot so they look like oh you're still not happy are you you need a feed come and do that see mm. needs a bit of TLC right there's more strawberries around here rosemary and then we've got this native hedge that was put in recently uh, this is whole area is still a bit of a work in progress. More strawberries down here. Uh, it's infested with horsetail, this place. Uh, so all the raspberries are along here. Uh, art globe artichokes. Uh, mint, apple mint. Lemon balm, because it's all over there, I'm gradually getting it out because, you know, it's evasive. Sorrel. Um, sorrel. Rhubarb. It's doing pretty good. Check that out. Woo! Um, Swiss chard again, that was, that's been in two years, I think, that one. But again, collect the seed, but it's not as exciting because it's just green. This little bed is, look at, check that out. It's all, this is really bad for water logging around this side. Um, normally, with rain that's not too full on, it, it, it's fine. I put this sump in, but this sump's full. It's, that normally takes care of it put the comfrey in recently see look out backed up with water this is I don't know if you can see there's all there's tadpoles in there <laughs> and this we did actually put a bog in because normally with just your average rain it gets boggy here anyway we'll put the gun here in that's doing really well. Dead chuffed. Uh, other boggish type plants. Putting the wild garlic. That's. I can never remember what it's called. Is it kocha? It's a bit like um, black currant. The berries are. Um, cranberries. They're really happy down here. Soap wort. I also put some marginal type plants in here. Very inconvenient, isn't it? Uh, and there's also there's loads of tadpoles in here. If we can get a good view of them, maybe this side. We also get this tiny little freshwater shrimp when the water level goes up as well. Oh. All the tadpoles are hiding. 